I'm dragging two salmon to Wellington. How long? A minute and a half, chef. A minute and a half, I'm ready. We're behind, Scott Lee, but I need to bounce back now. Yes, right? chef. This is breaking the fuck apart, man. How you looking on Welly? Shit's just falling apart, yo. Chef, my dough from the side of the Wellington is pulling up, chef. The dough. My pastry. Brett, can you show Scott Lee how to slice a fucking Wellington? Absolutely, chef. I don't get it. I don't get it. What's the problem? We'll let the knife do the work. It's a serrated knife. One, two, three. You're through the Wellington. It's glorious is the word I'll use. I'm begging, dying for a two beef Wellington, oh, two salmon. Need... Come on, man. Please. I need proteins. That's it. Wellies? Wellies right now. Yo, let the knife do the work, right? Hey, red team, come here. Wellington, beautifully cooked. Beautifully cooked. Except that's from the fucking blue team. God damn. Look at the fucking difference. That's perfection on a plate. That's undercooked, and it's just sabotaged the side. I've got no idea what's going on. I am lost for words. <laughs> Ladies, all four of you, well done. Thank you, Thank you Chef. Right now, come here. Yeah, Chef. What the fuck is going on? Hey, 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 stop. Let me bring you some help. Ladies, one on each station. Right now, I'm right now. With fish. You want to work fish? Get with him. Dude, if I'm over here, then let me help you. Don't get defensive. It's, it's not my fault you're fucking up. Two salmon, two beef. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. What do you need, Jose? How can Just I help you? the salmon. You? The salmon is, like, not fucking cooking. Are we up on garnish for two wellington? Yes, yes. Uh, All right. Can go. you pull that? I need that wellington now. to go to Chef Christina. Coming out salmon. I got the sauce right here. Just make sure that's done in the middle, this time. Welcome to the pass. Go, let's try it again. The chef salmon. Look at this. And it's still raw. It's still raw. You're kidding me. I can't. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. I, I look. Hey, 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 Oh! The salmon is still fucking raw. The salmon is still raw. Put the ladle down. You, stand up straight. That's Red chef. team. Get out! Oh, my God. He's kicking them out. Get out! Yo, my bad. Right, let's go for something simple. Pistachio, the most famous nut in the world. Chocolate chip, chef? Oh, the Chocolate fun. chip. Wrong. Caramel, chef? No. Number two, a staple across Italian cuisine, garlic. You got to get this one. I would hope so. He Come uses on. it in fucking everything. He has a tattooed on him. Garlic, chef? Nice. Garlic, chef. Coconut. Ooh. Come on, Brett. Coconut? Yes. Coconut, chef. Jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Jalapeno, she should get it. Mmm. Mmm. I would love this one. Sriracha, chef? <laughs> pasta to the face. Motto, time to face your pasta. Man, that thing's got some force coming now. This is good. Jalapeno. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Ariel, and thank your mouth. <laughs> well done. Thank you. I don't like this challenge. Why does everybody else get this fucking magic tongue? What if everybody else gets two or three out of four, and I'm the only asshole that goes 0 for 4? Jose, are you happy with that? Yes, chef. Go. It's so tough. Oh my gosh, mine is completely raw. See, this is what you would call raw. Yours is raw. Oh, yours is raw. We got it all. Let's get ready for dessert. Oh no. Red team, come here. Yes, chef. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Raw. Wow. Oh, shit. Shit. Who cooked it? I was cooking veal along with Trev. Jose, did yes, you check? Chef. 
most of them. I didn't oh, open them up though. Fuck it now. Oh no. Oh my god. No. No. Fuck. You guys, come here at the back. Look at this. Jose dropped the ball. Not one of them was cut into. It looks like something out of a horror movie that you peeled off a radioactive monster's back. Oh, it looks like a giant scab. Just touch that. <laughs> Mourinho! Oh, there's more coming back. Oh, oh old. fuck no. No, 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 no! I need six. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I think people are getting hit in the head with broken plates. This is crazy. I wish I could have cooked the veal myself. I feel like my team let me down, for sure. You, get on with the yes, souffle! Chef. You, get on with the souffle! Chef. Oh, my God. It was up to you to do what was needed, Jose. Not me, not Mato, not Brett. And you didn't check one thing. You just fucking screwed us, bro. I can't believe it. Oh, boy. I cannot believe it. If Chef Ramsay's cooking for us, that means we fucked up real bad. Wow. Oh, that looks great. And then just give him the it's OK. It's OK. You can have some light. Yeah. All right, how long on the timer? He's going to come back and ask. 30 seconds out. 30 seconds out. Can I? Yes, perfect. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. Fucking no doubt. Uh-oh. Oh, this is raw. Is it raw? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you can scream all you want. This is raw. Yes, yeah, sure. Like, leave me alone. Right. Leave me fucking alone. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Hey. Prepared by Chef Ramsay, right? Unbelievable. Oh Lord. At this point, I'm just like, get that, get the salmon out of my face. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, can I? Yes, yeah, Chef. It's extremely embarrassing. Go jockey. I'm praying that he's not in the mood to kick us out of the kitchen. No, oh, thank you so much. No, it's here. And it looks so great. It does. It looks beautiful. Right, next up, Heather. Let's go, please. OK. Chef, I took the wings and the legs off of the quail because I stuffed the cavity with a little bit of parsley, lemon, and some of the leeks. When I see Heather's dish, I'm looking like, where is the quail? Like, where did the quail go? So did you use the legs, uh, wings, for any of it? I didn't, Jeff. No. What's the stuffing here? What is that? Lemon? I just, lemon, parsley, um, some of the leek. When you've got that lemon in there, mm -hmm. it turns it bitter. Like, if you put a lemon in it, you take it out. Rookie mistake. Cold down, delicious. Eggplant, exceptional. So everything else works beautifully, it's except lemon. the lemon. Gotcha. Thank you. I got chunks of lemon still. Mm. I can't catch a break today. At all. Two of us will score one result straight after, yes? Heather, you have scallops dropped? Heather. Heather, where are you? Guys, I need another three and a half minutes on this risotto, please. Heather, listen. What? Heather, I need three minutes on my risotto, coming with two scallops. Heather. Heather. What? I got your scallops. Kurt. Two ox personal scallops, one risotto. How long? I need three minutes, chef. Three minutes, thank you. Shit. Damn, it's done. Right behind you. Where's the risotto? Next one is two and a half minutes, chef. One risotto, one scallop, two octopus. And I've got the scallops. Why do we have that up, guys? I said I needed three minutes. Yes, you did. I apologize. Hey, hello, fish. Anyone yes. in there? Yes, chef. Heather, I need you to run your station. Hurt. Hurt, okay? chef. I apologize. I apologize, chef. I apologize. Like, how about you don't do shit to be sorry for? The slicing meat. Brent. Two cooked beautifully, one fucking rare. Here we go. Back in the pack. Absolutely, chef. Let me help oh. you, man. I got you. Come on. Brett's focused and in his little zone and trying to own the meat station. But if Brett can just be a little bit more vocal as to what help he needs, then I can get in there and help him find a rhythm. Now, Brett, how's that station getting organized? I, I mean, yeah. 
There's two of you on there. Yes, Chef. You need to talk. Yes, Chef. When you talk, we're on the same page. When you shut down, we're fucked. Your chef. So, hey, don't put your fucking head down like that. He's getting after him right now. I told you start talking. Fucking do it. It's all good. I'm here for you, bro. No, no, I know that. I'm sorry. You were slightly undercooked, bro. Come on, now. Slow down, man. We got to get this right. Free fire strip, chef. Thank you. Very nice. Yes, chef. Sauce. They're not talking again to each other. Young man, yes, talk to Mono. Heard. Stop trying to do it on your own. Heard. Mono, get this peppercorn sauce, please, going. Got you, got you. Heard. Brett. Yes, chef. You need to talk. Yes, chef. I want the sauce when the steaks arrive. Yes, chef. Not two minutes fucking later. Yes, chef. I'm going to scream at the top of my lungs so Chef Ramsay does hear me. You have six halibut, and you have the two salmon. Huh? The two salmon are fired. You got shrimp? Two salmon, three. Two salmon, three halibut. Two salmon, two New York. Halibut, three salmon, halibut, New York. You got three salmon, two New York, one halibut, garnish walking. One salmon, one halibut. You have six all day on the board. There's two at a time. I'm going to double check me it. different orders, y'all. I'm trying to help Heather. It's super frustrating. It's definitely a jumble of numbers everywhere. If I can just get a firm answer, then please, I can cook this fish. Six halibut all day, right? Four, I apologize. Four of what? How many salmon all day? Four, two. Two all day in my oven. Four halibut all day. Oh, no. Oh, no. Followed by four more, yeah? No. Two and two. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. Shut the fuck up. How dare you? Sorry. We are doing two, two halibut followed yeah. by two, two halibut. halibut. Yeah. Do not give me fucking four. No, chef, no, I only have two. Yeah, yeah, all fucking days. Sorry, hey, chef. young man. Hey, standards. Just stick to one fucking four top at a time. Yes, chef. Hurt? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Two followed two by two, more. please. Six minutes. This halibut. I got this in four. Heard four minutes. Please do not talk to me. I'm not. Thank you. I four minutes on this halibut. You. Sorry about that, chef. Yeah, I just want everybody to shut the fuck up for just one second. Let me cook the fish, you know? Now, seeing as you're the final four, I thought we'd end the day with a midnight snack. Oh, shit. Pancakes. Oh. Well, Dan Drake, founder of Dan Cakes, not only makes delicious, incredible pancakes, but he does it with a little extra flair. Oh. No <laughs> way. What the fuck? <laughs> and lo and behold, it is a phenomenal portrait of Chef Ramsay. The hair is perfect. He's got blue, bright eyes, and he's looking great as a pancake. Now, Dan has been busy doing a little something special for each of you. <laughs> I already know. Let's see. <laughs> Ariel! <laughs> oh, my God, look, it's me. That's my nose. Pancake number two. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> number three. This is... <laughs> what is <Whoa>! it, <laughs> Better like be a pancake than a donut, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I look better on a pancake than I do in person. <laughs> pancake number four is... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I want it to be my new profile pic on Instagram. <laughs> I'm going to put myself up. Oh, my god. Dude. Holy fucking curveball, Mato. Are you sure? I am sure. One of you should take the position in Vegas, is what I'm saying. I would never give up on any of y'all. But I also can't give up on my friends and my family back home. And I gotta, I gotta accept that. I'm not one to give up on anything, but uh, I think at the end of the day, the place I need to be is, is back home. I want to go back. I want to start a family. I want to raise the culinary standard in Baton Rouge. That's what I've been working on the last five years. I'm not ready to give up on that. Did you just come to this conclusion right now? It's been in the back of my mind. OK. I am the support system for so many people back home. It's what I do. I, I want to go back and further the mentor and that I do to people. I want to take all this that I've learned here and I couldn't get exposed to and expose all these people back home with this information. That scene is not going to change itself. It takes so much for a person to say something like that. 
And when you witness someone really, really understanding that they know exactly where they want to be, it's just an amazing thing to witness. Oh, Mono. Wow. The one thing I do know is I can go back to Baton Rouge and I can make that town 10 times better. That just made me cry. And, and pick people up and push people, including myself. I still got work to do back home. I wouldn't say it wasn't difficult, Chef, but we did come to decision. I put forth myself. It, sorry. Uh, tell me why. Chef, this has been an incredible journey. You're offering this great platform of Vegas, and there's not a give up bone in my body. And I don't want to give up on Baton Rouge. I want to go back and share this wealth of knowledge that you've given me to elevate that town's culinary scene because it's not gonna do it on its own. And I feel like that's the place I need to be. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised, but I respect your decision. Mono, step forward. You know, never before across this competition have I met a chef as sincere as you. So whilst I accept your decision, I want you to accept this from me. Once you're done in Baton Rouge and you're ready for the next move, call me. Yes, chef. Thank you for the opportunity, chef. Oh, man. It's OK, but you're the fucking man. See you guys later. Oh, bless, Motto. Bye, Motto. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, judging our final course tonight, this chef is the recipient of two Michelin star. He owns one of the best restaurants anywhere in the country, Providence. Please give a warm welcome for Michael Chimarusi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So right now it's zero, zero is what you're telling me. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's nil, nil, right? Exactly that. Ariel, please. OK, we have a mole rubbed rib cap. That's a mole red wine demi and some roasted carrots with a little bit of fresh watercress. That's, this is actually a, like a pretty tricky piece of beef to cook. Um, but this is like cooked perfectly, a tender. It's seasoned well. The mole sauce is delicious. I don't know, well done. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Mia, please describe your dish to Chef. Thank you. So, Chef, when I think of meat, it transports me back to home and my dad on the grill. Um, I have tostones, which is how Puerto Ricans cook their plantains. On top of the meat, a little herb salad, and then roasted tomato and garlic aioli. How's it taste, chef? I don't know. I'm almost speechless here. It's, it's really good. Chef, the name that you will say will break the tie and win the challenge. What comes through? in both of these dishes is a little bit of heart and a little bit of heritage and a little bit of home. And, you know, you're cooking in a kitchen outside in front of a roller coaster in a theme park. <laughs> I mean, like, the food should not be this good. Thank you. Uh, great comments, Chef. Is it Mia or is it Ariel? I need a winner. Uh, it's... Mia, I've got to give it to you. The food was just wow. absolutely delicious. Congratulations. that I have what it takes. Going into tomorrow night's dinner service, like, I know this menu is a winner. Let's go. I'm taking your garnish on there. All right, I'm bringing it right to you. Hot. Okay. Well, hot. Yeah. Come Look, on, give me with some vinegar Come in on, here. 18. Come 18. on, 18. Hey, Scotty, that mackerel is sexy, all right? Nice job. For you, job. baby. Brett, can I get a new chicken refire? How burnt is that skin? My fault, chef. Sorry, hey. chef. The mackerel is cooked. Won't happen again, chef. Come on, Brett. We almost there. Put your big boy pants on and let's get this shit rolling. Brett, I need that chicken. Seconds. Let's go. I don't want to give it to you raw, chef. I fucked up with the chicken. So I got to make sure this chicken's proper. And the abba dabba do, we keep it moving. Brett, chicken. Come on, Brett. Let's go, Brett. Mackerel's been there two minutes. Chicken hot pan. It's raw. Fucking hell. Brett! Yes, Chef! Look at me! I would be freaking out. Wake up! I am awake, Chef! Yeah, well, if you're awake, you wouldn't be cooking fucking raw chicken. Hurt, Chef. I Wake up a bit fucking deck. more. Enough's enough. Brett, come here, please. 
to go a little under. That's why I didn't yep, want to serve it to you. Take that one. Take that one. Bert, come on. If that one is, that them. one is. Yep. Just give it two more minutes, all right, bro? Bert, chef. We're so close to the end of service. We so don't have time for these mistakes. Come on, Brett. I got it, chef. I'm finishing the steaks. Fucking I'm going. time. We have to get this food out right. Very hot pan. Very hot pan. Hey, Brett. Your chicken looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, chef. Oh, good job. Thank you, chef. Well done. Both of you, very carefully place your hand on top of your door handle. On the count of three, I want you to turn your handle. One, two, three. Well done. Thank you, Dad. You're going to have a phenomenal career. Thank you so much, Dad. No Thank doubt. You for having the okay. I'm so proud to have gotten to this place as a rookie. You know, I knocked down everybody but one. And this isn't the end for me. That <laughs> like this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah! I have been to Hell's Kitchen twice and made it out alive. And not only alive, but I made it out a winner. And this feels incredible right now. Oh, yeah.